So we know that we have about 1.4 billion unique devices accessing the sites every month. Um, you notice I didn't say unique visitors because we don't actually track unique visitors like most tech website. We have a deep respect for user privacy. Uh, we keep you know, very little data. We don't have targeted advertising or that sort of thing on, on Wikipedia. And this ensures that people just can trust that when they're researching something that no one is basically looking over their shoulder. Wikipedia started in 2001 uh, and it was inspired in many ways by open source technology. And so Jimmy Wales, the founder of Wikipedia, was really passionate about open source and what it had achieved. Um, and this idea that with many eyes, all bugs are shallow. And that's the concept that was then applied to Wikipedia. Transparency is part of the DNA of Wikipedia. So every single edit that has ever been made is available for the public to go and see. This is important because it creates accountability in the process of creating knowledge. You know, we think that knowledge is something that's owned by the world. And so that means that everyone should be able to understand how it was created. So you can see exactly how history has evolved for the past 15 years, thanks to a lot of conversations um, on Wikipedia, which I think is great. It's not only an encyclopedia, it's a record of how we write an encyclopedia. So it's, it's really discouraged to edit an article about yourself, and that's because it would be considered a conflict of interest. So one of the pillars of Wikipedia is that when you're approaching a topic, you should be approaching it with a neutral point of view. Basically, you come together to write about something that reflects all the significant viewpoints that are represented in reliable sources. Wikipedians have a, a very particular view of, of copyright law. They believe that um, things should be free and accessible and be able to be remixed under a Creative Commons license. But at the same time, we should really avoid copyright infringement or breaking copyright rules, because if we don't sort of follow these rules, then we endanger the project. So there are 12 other Wikimedia projects. In terms of photos, we have Wikimedia Commons, which is the free um, media repository. And we also have Wikispecies, which documents the world's species. We have Wikiquote, uh, Wikisource. And each of these projects has their own you know, focus and community. There's a lot. There's over 45 million articles. Although we have a long ways to go. So on English Wikipedia, there are uh, 5.4 million articles. And uh, one editor did a, an experiment to see how far do we have to go to really approach the sum of all knowledge. And this person estimated that there are 100 million notable things out there. And that, I think, was a couple years ago, so it's only grown. And I think that's one of Wikipedia's real powers, is it lets a bunch of people with diverse viewpoints come together and talk about what the historical record should look like. It's not a company in San Francisco deciding that. It's a group of folks who might be from around the world, you know, could be you know, seven years old or could be 70 years old. It's just a really diverse group. And encouraging that group to be as diverse as possible, I think, improves the quality of the articles that they write.